It all began at a news conference this morning when the announcement was made that Lee resigned at City Hall. Lee was not present during this morning's news conference. Council President Virgie Lindsay said Lee's resignation was effective immediately. As president of the city council, it is with a heavy heart that I have accepted her resignation. Under these unfortunate circumstances, the Ward 2 seat is now vacant. My intent today is to reassure the people of the city of Jackson that the urgent legislative affairs of the city will continue uninterrupted. I know our citizens to be resilient, resourceful, and generous. Ward 3 Councilman Kenneth Stokes believes Lee was steered in the wrong direction by some who didn't have her best interest in mind. I think sometimes in government, fair weather friends are no good. Farewell to friend is a person who entice you like they're your friend, but all the time they're stabbing you in your back. And I think she got caught up in, in that situation. Ward 6, Councilman Aaron Banks says Lee's resignation came out of the blue, and the only information he has is what was shared today and has a message for the citizens of Jackson. Look, uh, let's stay calm, let's stay prayerful. Uh, let's stay prayerful for Angela Lee and her family. Got another City Girl leader in the news. This time is 48-year-old City Girl Councilwoman Angelique Lee out of Jackson, Mississippi. She went from making history as the first so-called Black American woman in her position to facing years in the federal penitentiary after she was caught red-handed agreeing to accept money for real estate developers to gentrify the community. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Shout out to Jackson, Mississippi. If you're watching from the area, drop Jackson below in the comments. I'm Angelique Lee, and I'm asking for your vote to become the first African-American female to represent Ward 2 on the Jackson City Council. City Girl Councilwoman Lee was once a teacher in Houston, Texas and Harlem, New York, before moving back to Jackson, Mississippi, where she worked in director positions at Tougaloo College and Jackson State University. In her political ad, she called herself African-American and said she will be the first African-American woman to be a council member in Ward 2. Her mother was Filipino and her father has a Mexican background. You can trace her daddy's family back to Mexico. Her great grandfather was a Mexican immigrant who had to set up shop in the black American community because that's who welcomed them back then during segregation. As a result, her family was involved in the civil rights movement, supporting people like Fannie Lou Hamer and Medgar Evers. She ran as an African-American woman in Mississippi to make a quote, historic moment. Her family is most proud of her Mexican heritage. They don't seem to talk much about their Asian roots. Her mother born in Manila, Philippines. She finished high school in France and went to a historically black college in Jackson, Mississippi. The same college her daughter Angelique will one day work, Tougaloo College. Her mom also pledged Alpha Kappa Alpha, which is also not surprising. I've said this over and over and some people still don't understand HBCUs are not just for black people. And all members of black Greek organizations are not black. Miss Lee is definitely an example of that. A Filipino woman born in the Philippines attended a black college and joined the historic black sorority, AKA. She was all about education, excellence, and eventually retired as a principal of an elementary school. So Angelique mixed with her mom's background and her dad's Mexican heritage, it was much more advantageous to run for office as a black American woman because she was in a majority black city. She also wanted to join the wave of other black American women elected in 2020 and 2021. As you all know, there was a whole movement, especially in local government. City Girl Councilwoman Angelique Lee was elected as a single mother of two that ran on making a change for Jackson residents. She hit a bump in the road in 2023 when she was arrested on DUI charges. Well, a Jackson City Councilwoman is apologizing after being arrested for DUI. War II's Angelique Lee was pulled over in June of last year. It was after a Madison police officer says he smelled a strong odor of marijuana coming from her car. In an incident report, that officer said he was driving behind her when he initially smelled it. The officer says he then noticed her driving over the line, and that's when he pulled her over. He says he saw marijuana paraphernalia in her car. Lee pled guilty to DUI, but was not convicted. 
Lee says the incident is a learning experience for her and a cautionary tale for others. She went on to say that she will continue to work hard for the city of Jackson and sincerely apologize for any disappointment that was caused by her decision. Angelique entered a guilty plea. However, she avoided prosecution altogether using her political relationship with the local prosecutor. Unfortunately for Angelique, it's one group her local ties at the city and county level couldn't save her from. That's the FBI. Well, it has in fact been a very dramatic day here at the federal courthouse for Angelique Lee. She spent much of the day before two different judges, a magistrate and the chief district judge. She told the judge that she knew right from wrong and that it was wrong for her to take bribes. Now, here is what prosecutors accuses her of doing. According to that bill of criminal information, Lee accepted cash deposits and other gifts from an unnamed person described as unindicted co-conspirator A. The documents say Lee Lee agreed to shut down a road and vote to approve a real estate development for a hotel at the Jackson Convention Complex. The fictitious deal involved two undercover FBI agents who pretended to be real estate developers from Nashville, Tennessee, who wanted to invest in that project. Now, Lee agreed to have the road, which was unnamed, in the court documents to be closed, and she would later cast votes at the council meeting in favor of that hotel development, again, in exchange for thousands of dollars. Now, according to the document, this past February, Lee accepted $10,000 in electronic transfer to pay off a portion of her campaign debt. And then in March, she took $3,000 for personal use. Also in March, the undercover agents described as confidential human source one and two allowed Lee to use their credit card to spend $6,000 at a retail, a luxury retail store in Jackson. Federal prosecutors say Lee funneled some of the money to a bank account owned or controlled by that unindicted co-conspirator. We spoke with her attorney outside the courthouse after she pleaded guilty. Good people make bad decisions at times, uh, but I must say that for her to come in and take full responsibility for her actions uh, says a lot about her and her character. Um, And so this is a tough chapter for her and um, Hopefully this is the beginning phases of rehabilitating her character for her constituents and for the people of Jackson and she wishes the city continued growth and success. Now Lee will remain free on a $10,000 unsecured bond. She's scheduled to be sentenced on November 13th. Federal prosecutors filed that sentencing recommendation under seal so we don't know how much time they're recommending or any possible jail time they're recommending for her for her guilty plea this afternoon. I can tell you that Judge Chief Judge Dan Jordan reminded Lee that by pleading guilty and agreeing to be sentenced, she will give up her right to vote, her right to serve on a jury, and indeed her right to serve in public office. It's rather a turn of events for a woman who just one day ago was Jackson's city councilwoman, Ward 2. For now, we're live at the federal courthouse in downtown Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Angelique admitted to making shady deals with developers looking to move in on Jackson, Mississippi and take over the 82% black city. This chameleon sold the black residents of Jackson out for $10,000 to pay off her campaign debt, a $6,000 shopping spree, and an additional $3,000 cash. She went on a shopping spree using a credit card provided to her by the developers who turned out to be undercover FBI agents. They had a dinner meeting with her to discuss their shady business deal. At that meeting, the men gave her a credit card and told her she could run it up. So she went on a luxury shopping spree, purchasing items like a pair of Valentino sandals, a Christian Louboutin purse and sandals, jewelry, dresses, sneakers, and athleisure wear. The feds indicted Angelique after they had all the evidence of her accepting money and a credit card from federal agents, along with documented details of her shopping spree. So the case was pretty much over from there. She didn't waste any time with the trial. Instead, she showed up to federal court with a guilty plea in exchange for leniency. Ms. Lee, do you understand the general nature of the charges against you? Yes, ma'am. And do you generally understand the maximum potential penalty for those charges? Yes, ma'am. 
That was Lee's voice as she made her first initial appearance in court in front of U.S. Magistrate Judge Lakeisha Greer Isaac. Minutes later, Lee pled guilty to accepting bribes in exchange for votes in favor of proposed real estate development developments by two FBI employees who claimed to be from Nashville, Tennessee. They also claimed they were looking to develop a site in downtown Jackson. Right now, city girl Angelique is out on a $10,000 bond, waiting for sentencing, and word is she's cooperating with the feds to bring down more politicians in the city. Meanwhile, residents are gearing up for a special election to fill her seat since her immediate resignation. The Jackson City Council has set the date for a special election to choose the next representative for Ward 2. The election will be on October 1st. If necessary, a runoff will be held on October 22nd. Now, Ward 2 Councilwoman Angelique Lee resigned last week before pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit bribery. Angelique, a cosplaying chameleon of Filipino and Mexican descent, the daughter of former educators, civil rights activists, freedom writers with a long history of operating in black spaces, getting support from black residents who patronize their businesses, a family that went to HBCUs, joined black Greek organizations, and tapped into Mississippi political circles, now at the center of a political corruption case, bringing attention to a black city in dire straits. While residents are trying to get by and stay above water, she's busy selling them out for Valentino shopping sprees.